So what underpinned your headline earnings and profit growth in 2019? Well, no, I think as the presentation says, mostly around the efficiencies that we've had from uh, you know, our plants, our ASUs. We did not have a repeat of um, you know, the plant outages of 2018, so there was a lot of efficiency there. Of course, in underlying savings from the restructuring processes and efficiency processes, and then, of course, the, the, the contribution from, from the healthcare tender. That drove you know, substantial profitability. Look, we, we certainly will see, and uh, you know, we, we plan that we will get some revenue increase from, from LPG because domestic demand increases at the back, on the back of, of, of unreliable uh, supply from ESCOM and, of course, high prices for electricity. I see there's another big increase uh, being applied for. Welding and hard goods we probably will stay flat, more linked to economic and fabrication activity, and we've seen the, the last quarter of last year, you know, quarter 4 2019, at a minus 1.4%. So we don't see a big upswing in activity. Maybe at the latter part of the year, maybe with the developments in Mozambique, you know, where we, where we uh, set well to supply, maybe we'll see a slight increase from there. Your LNG projects in Mozambique, will these be finalized this year or not? Look, it, it's, it's not, just let me clarify, we've got $125 billion, not, it's not Afrox investments, this is from major oil companies off the coast of Mozambique. So Afrox is setting up to be a supplier to the construction processes. Yes, and by year end, we're putting in 75 million rand, which is substantially less, but we're putting in a filling site, we're putting in some cylinders, storage facility, distribution facilities, to supply the construction companies um, manufacturing these, these pipelines and manufacturing uh, plants. And we will have that in by year end, yes. Your return on capital employed rose to 21.5% in 2019. So how far has your SWIFT strategy come since 2015? And do you aim to improve your ROCE further in 2020? Look, ROCE is not, SWIFT process is really about efficiencies. Um, and we, we, you know, at the backdrop of this economy, we'll continue to drive efficiencies and cost reductions. Um, I think we see, depending on the size of investment, now you saw, you know, the projection for our capital investment for 20, 2020, which is reduced again. So we, if we deliver the, the profitability and then we do less investment, you know, our capital investment will probably reduce, giving us a larger ROC and, and, and a bigger return on investment.